The Chile Earthquake of 1960 by Sam Bogan What caused this earthquake? This massive earthquake was caused by the Nazca Plate, which lies in the southeastern part of the Pacific Ocean, subducting under the South American Plate. This fault tends to be an active one because of the fact that oceanic plates, like the Nazca Plate, subduct under continental plates, like the South American Plate. This is because oceanic plates are made of basalt, and continental plates are made of granite. Since basalt is denser than granite, the basalt-based oceanic plate subducts under the granite-based continental plate, creating huge earthquakes. Where exactly was this earthquake? This earthquake's focus, or the place where the quake occurred underground, was 60 kilometers under the ocean floor off the coast of Chile. The epicenter, or the place on the surface where the quake occurred, was 100 miles off the coast of Chile. This created massive tsunami waves throughout the Pacific Ocean, hitting Hawaii, the Philippines, the Eastern Asian coast, and Japan. What were the signs that this earthquake was going to happen? There is only one primary sign that an earthquake of this magnitude was going to happen. This was that small to medium sized foreshocks were happening for up to 30 minutes before the big quake. This sent people into the streets of Chile talking about what was going on. What happened during the earthquake? During the large earthquake, many things were destroyed. The main jolt shook many parts of the country, mostly the towns of Puerto Montt and Valdivia. Puerto Montt, a port city, completely sunk during the quake. Although most buildings in the two towns in Chile were completely destroyed, there were not many human casualties because of the force shocks that sent people of these towns into the streets talking. This was the largest earthquake ever recording, scoring a whopping 9.5 on the moment magnitude scale. Were there aftershocks of this earthquake? There were major aftershocks stretching from measurements to 5 of 7 on the moment magnitude scale. The earthquake also generated huge tsunami waves throughout the Pacific Ocean. The tsunami caused 93 deaths and many other injuries. These were primarily in Hawaii. Most of the damage was in Hilo, where the waves reached a height of 35 feet. Smaller, 15-foot tsunamis hit the coast of Japan and the Philippines. Even smaller tsunamis hit the Chilean coast. Later, the volcano Puyahue erupted. It stayed erupting for several more weeks. What were the results of this earthquake? Overall, this was a devastating, destructive earthquake. More than 100 people died, whether it was from landslides, volcanoes, the earthquake, or the resulting tsunami. This quake definitely had an effect on how Chilean buildings were built. Now, they used more flexible materials such as steel. This particularly helped the Chileans when another huge earthquake hit in 2010. There were not as many deaths and destruction because of the smart architectural decisions made as a result of this earthquake in 1960. People all around the world are now more prepared for massive earthquakes to hit, especially if they live on or around faults and earthquake zones. All in all, the Chilean earthquake of 1960 was massive and destructive. It had a huge impact on the country of Chile, as well as the neighboring countries in South America and around the world. It affected everything from architectural style to preparedness. People today are now ready to respond if another massive earthquake or another natural disaster hits somewhere today. I would like to thank these three sources for their web pages to compile my information for this presentation.